Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode here of Python's Realm. Oh god, he is among us. The captain, the captain of buttholes. This guy is the most ginormous pain in the butt, but if we somehow manage to sap down the 6,000 health that he has, he might just drop ourselves some epic stuffs. But as always, my friends, I do want to say a massive thank you for all of the epic support you guys have been showing. I truly do appreciate it. About half of the comments in the last freaking episode were going ahead and suggesting that I make myself the titanium armor. And, well, yeah, it's a pretty legitimate thing to be going on about, but uh, I don't really have time to do that at the minute. Like, literally. Oh, God. I know as soon as I go down here, I'm going to die. Like, it's just going to happen. All right, let's do it. Woo! Okay, the star cannon actually came in quite clutch there, but we didn't do much damage. What if I do that? Oh, yeah, that actually kind of... <laughs> that actually didn't do too bad, huh? How much have you got? 4,000? My goodness. Absolutely crazy. Well, the good news is I can kind of cheese these guys. I wonder if I could, like, shoot down the... I can't shoot down the anchor. Oh, what the bloody hell was that? I just had uh, 360 damage done towards me there, guys. The good news is the pirate captain will not despawn because he is carrying some of our money. Uh, so, yeah. It begins, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, God! They're in my base! What the devil? Okay. Well, that ain't cool, is it? All right. Yep. And there we go. Oh, God. Oh, the death count is going to go insane today, isn't it? It actually is. Jesus Christ. <laughs> But as always, my friends, if you do want to go ahead and continue supporting the series, then do be sure, of course, to go ahead and drop a like. It is by far the best way of letting me know if you do want to continue seeing more of the series. Oh, God, he's back. He's back. Ha ah! <laughs> ha! What you gonna do now, sunshine? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, I wonder. Oh, God. He oh, what? Chip. What? Yeah, okay. Another 370 damage done towards your boy. Thanks for that, bud. Uh, at some point this year, I might be able to take down this captain. Um, but yeah, I'm going to spawn literally up here, and they're going to be spawn camping me. <laughs> yep, there they are. Everything's fine. So, I'm going to be here for probably about 17 years yet, so I wouldn't even worry about it, guys. I'm just going to hang around here until, like, something happens. I mean, I'm going to die. There's literally no way around it, is there? Uh, now that the captain is inside my base, I can't even get down there to make... The freaking titanium armor. I can't even get down there to get my titanium armor out. Or the titanium bars, more to the point. And even then, I would have to teleport way back up here, right? <laughs> oh. And then even then, it won't be enough to, like, guarantee us a win. Yeah, this just... Well, the good news is he's, uh, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Everything's fine. Don't even worry about it. Don't even fret about it, guys. Everything's fine. Yep. Rip star cannon. Yay! The best weapon we probably had, and it's gone already. <laughs> Hellfire arrows? Uh, these things? These things as well? Yeah! All right! Now we got the good ass ammo. Hey, how's it going, broskies? Yeah! Get ruined. I really don't want that captain to despawn. I'm gonna be so sad if this guy ever winds up despawning for. Okay, well, there's another death on the cards. 3,600 health, guys. I may have just enough time to pop down, get my titanium armor, and then pop back up again. I may have to, like, block off my house, though. Oh! This is so annoying. All right, boom. Here we are. Oh, God, they're in my base. Okay, that's great. Thanks for that. Thanks. Yep. Yep. For now, I guess this is how we're going to be doing this thing. Yeah! Oh, this guy's coming back, is he? You know what? I'm just going to keep raining down hell. It seems to be working, surprisingly. Get wrecked, get wrecked, you son of a... What the goddamn hell? What? Uh, the pirate drops a ghost? What? Since when is that a thing? What the hell is that, man? Well, the good news is, guys, there's a rather significant supply of coins down there. So if I do manage to eventually get down there... I am gonna have a lot of monies. Oh yeah. Oh god! He hath returned! There's another one! <laughs> no! Oh god! Two captains taken down. 45%. We're literally not even halfway there. Holy crap! Wow, 24 gold coins. 
I actually had a tiny shred of time to get down then. See what was there. Wow. Never thought I'd see the day, guys. Never thought I'd see the day. Real quick. 57 damage, 58 damage. If I reforge this to get legendary. Oh, it's going to be a good one. Oh, no. Uh, oh, okay. That was interesting. So the Flying Dutchman. Wait. Has, it, has the Flying Dutchman picked up my money? Is that even possible? <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, as if my nightmare couldn't get any worse. Another pirate captain as well as the freaking flying Dutchman. Yeah. All right. Oh, right, isn't this great, my friends? 260 hellfire arrows remain. I need to figure out how to make those bad boys because goddamn are these things coming in clutch for me right about now. Oh, my goodness me. <laughs> Holy crappers, guys! Increased damage! Yeah! From the pirate deckhand dudes. Oh, wow. I do, like, double damage to those guys. Anything from 80 to 100 plus? Oh, for God's sake, Terraria! What is wrong with you today? My God! Do you really want me dead that bad? You give me a freaking blood moon as well as a goddamn pirate invasion? Oh, my God! No way! The lucky coin! We got it first time! Usually it takes me like bloody 20 power invasions to get that bad boy. We got it on the first one! <laughs> oh, damn, you know what? I'm putting that on right now. Yeah! Give me some extra coins! Quite frankly, I deserve them! Oh, the deaths have come in thick and fast, but you know what? I'm still happy. Yeah! <laughs> All right. Oh, God. Now it's down to the unholy arrows. Oh, God. Hellfire has run out. A lot of other things have run out. What I haven't run out, though, is my spirit. I am still in high spirits despite the deaths. All right. Come on, pirate captain. You want to go, you severely unbelievable butthole? Yeah. All right. Oh, man. Okay. Our ammo supply is going to be chronically low after this, isn't it? It really is. But the good news is, even with just unholy arrows... Yeah! There we are. Even with just unholy arrows, we're still doing enough damage to do uh, damage to this guy at a fairly okay rate, I guess. Oh, boy. All right. Oh, God. <laughs> we still got to take down the Flying Dutchman, though, guys. And I haven't even thought about how I'm even going to try to take that guy down yet. I have no idea how to take on that Flying Dutchman. I've got to be completely frank with you guys. Ooh. What's the monies? All the monies. It all belongs to me. I am just about done here. we got a mech skull. I mean, that's kind of okay, I guess. Oh, well, rip. A flaming arrow. Oh, for God's sake, those stupid archer buttholes. Ugh. Do I even try to take on the freaking Flying Dutchman? 63 gold coins. Oh, wow. That was quite a lot. I dropped, huh? That's kind of a big rip. Hey, hey, do you mind? I don't like being spawn camped. I think that's unbelievably rude. Come on, you son of a gun. Go on, get out of here. Give me my money back. Thanks. Where's my money, man? Where's my money? Oh, and there's another death. Yeah, fantastic. Oh, I love this game so much. Yeah, eat it, you son of a gun. There we go. Right, uh, I think... Oh, the Flying Dutchman actually despawned. Ah, oh, crap. Well, I wouldn't have minded actually trying to take it down, but uh, Terraria clearly has other ideas. We've got a mech skull, we've got the cutlass, a whole bunch of golden furniture, of course. I mean, you know, pretty standard stuff. The thing that I'm most chuffed about, of course, is the lucky coin. I was not expecting that today. That is huge for the series. Hey! Finally, the end of all things bad. Mother of God, that was an ordeal, wasn't it? <laughs> wow. Okay. Whoa! Three platinum coins? Whoa! That's the most I've ever had in this series so far! Woo! Amazing. So, what that event has told us is I need some serious, serious weapon upgrades, okay? Because, yeah, uh, none of that really did the job at all, did it? Uh, oh. Is there no guide? Oh, no, the guide died. Well, that's a bit of a rip, isn't it? Oh, the guide actually just arrived back. Cool. Right, so some of you guys were suggesting that we try to make ourselves the Star Cannon Mark II. Ah, that's the only issue, isn't it? It does require hallowed bars. 
Hmm. I wonder if I would be able to take down the twins, right? I mean, the twins arguably are the easiest mech bosses. Used to be that the destroyer was, but I think that they heavily buffed the destroyer, or more to the point, strengthened it in terms of how much damage it can take. Or little damage it could take nowadays. Uh, so, yeah. I mean, it used to be that you would get yourself the Day to the Stormbow and the Holy Arrows. And you would just go to town on the freaking destroyer. But apparently that has been heavily nerfed. I don't know by how much. But, yeah. Enough to the point where people are actually suggesting that I don't go for that, right? So, hmm. I don't know, dude. I don't know. It would be kind of nice to get ourselves the superstar shooter. I think that would be fantastic. But in the meantime, it may just about be time to get ourselves some titanium upgrades. Okay, I think that's going to be what we do here. Well, there is the pirate arriving in our world for the very, very first time, in fact. So I guess that's pretty cool. So in order to make the twin summoner, I do believe we are going to be requiring six souls of light. So, that is going to be something to consider, I guess. Also, uh, guide. In fact, let me just remind myself. It is, is it still six? Let's have a look. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. The mechanical eye. Yep, six souls of light, iron bars, and lenses. Logic sensor. Ooh, look at all this stuff. So, a bookcase. Wait, we can make the crystal storm if we really wanted to. Oh, same with the meteor staff. And the angel wings. Oh my goodness, we can make a lot of things if we really wanted to. Oh, these things require hallowed bars. Ah, crap. Uh, light shards. So the light shards, I'm pretty sure, are gotten from mummies that reside in the hallowed desert. But unfortunately, we don't actually have any of the hallowed desert. I mean, does the underground desert count? Do hallowed mummies spawn down there? Because if so, then that could be something to consider. I do kind of want to go ahead and uh, talk to this guy, see what he's got. Hey, buddy, what you got for me? The stopwatch. Do we already have that? Uh, yeah, we do. Okay. Uh, huh. Hmm. So, what else do you have? Uh, fancy dishes, zebra skin, crimson cloak. I need the winter cape, man. That is the thing I'm looking for. That'd be fantastic. All right. Uh, the goblin tinker, I do believe, is over uh, this way. We'll go ahead and see if we can get ourselves legendary. I mean, we do have a fair amount of gold at this point. So, that's kind of cool. All right. Keen. Uh, nope. Nope. Okay, that's actually not too bad. It's still a fairly decent upgrade compared to the Palladium Sword. But, Legendary would still be pretty nice. Man, that's actually pretty quick. Maybe I'm wasting my time. Maybe I should make a Titanium Sword and see how that goes instead. Alright, so there it is. Let's pop up here. And we need to figure out what kind of thing we're going to be going for here. I mean, I am personally thinking that ranged damage might just be the way to go. Uh, you know, keeping a distance away from the twins might just be in our best interests. So, let's make this bad boy. Make this bad boy. Make this bad boy. Uh, titanium pickaxe. There's no actual real need to make that, if I'm being honest. Uh, we've got the axe there. The repeater. I mean, that's not really very much of an upgrade. Can you auto-swing the titanium sword? Oh, you can. I feel like at one point in the game, you weren't able to fully auto-swing the titanium sword. But here we are. Being able to do it, I mean, that's pretty cool. Do you know what? Screw it. I am going to also make this. Screw it. I don't even care. I don't even care. If we have to get more titanium, then we'll get more titanium, okay? But for now, we're going to do this thing. Going from 47 defense up to 49, but we have a lot better ranged damage. So let's check it out. 47 damage up from 40. Hey! That's pretty good. All right, Staten, let's see what you can give us here. We're looking for, I mean, Legendary would, of course, be the best. Deadly's pretty good. Anything that gives us extra speed and damage is pretty darn welcome in my books. Oh, Legendary would still be amazing, though. We do have a fair amount of money. Dangerous. Murderous. Deadly again. All right, what do we think, guys? How long is it going? Oh, Ruthless. 72 damage. Jesus Christ. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on. Seriously? 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 Ah, oh, screw it. You're really annoying me today, sir. All right, what about this one? Unreal would be amazing. Godly is pretty darn good, though. Will you please cease and desist there, sir? Go away, you son of a gun. All right, come on. How much more money do we have here? Ah, oh, screw it. Let's keep going. Unreal. Hey! All right, now let's go for legendary. 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 
Legendary. <laughs> Legendary. Legendary. Seriously? Oh, for God's sake. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, you suck. Oh, for God's sake. Why can't I not get legendary, man? You know what? As a matter of fact, what might be a good idea right about now is if we were to locate the merchant, buy ourselves a bunch of arrows, and then make for ourselves the endless quiver, right? We should be able to do that. So I sold a whole bunch of my meteorite bars. I've got 50 remaining, and now we're going to go ahead and do this thing. I can't remember. Does the endless quiver go in your accessory slots or the ammo slot? I cannot remember. All right, well, let's go and do this thing. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There we are. Look at that. Beautiful. Ah, cool. It does go in there. Nice. Never have to worry about ammo ever again, ladies and gentlemen. Man, this thing is quick. Damn! I want to try and make myself the Sky Fracture. Everybody always is whittling on about how good the Sky Fracture is. So I think it would be pretty cool to see if we could see what the buzz is all about. Whoa! The auto torch switching thing is going. Look at that. See? And then I pop into this biome. And it's, uh, it's still hallowed. Huh, interesting. It must go by the background music then or something. Because that is clearly a different biome, right? That is the regular underground desert. But here we are. We've still got... Oh, man, the damage. Very, very nice. But yeah, we've still got the other things going. What the hell? Oh, my God. What is that? Defensive shards surround you. Okay, that's epic. Yeah, souls of light. All right. I'm hoping that the hallowed mummies will be able to spawn down here. If they can, I'm going to be very, very happy. All right, there we are. Get wrecked. Oh, you can get steady fossils from those guys. Oh, dude, I am in love with this repeater so far. Oh, my God. That's a freaking mini boss. That guy did a crazy amount of damage to me. What the devil's up with that? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm now confused. What the? Okay. My movement got reversed. Appreciate that one, buddy. Thanks. Thanks a lot, in fact. <laughs> Chocolate chip cookie? That's cool. I'm going to eat that immediately. Medium improvements and also 20-minute duration and increased life regen. Hell yeah. That's amazing. So the idea in my mind is that if I was to hang around in the hallowed biome here, maybe I get lucky and have the hallowed mummy spawn to the left here. Maybe that's a thing that happens. Maybe it's not. Oh, cool. I got a light shard. Okay. Can you get them from other enemies than the hallowed mummies? Because I do not remember killing any hallowed mummies to get that. Huh. Okay. Maybe something else does drop it, and I just don't know about it. I feel like I haven't played enough of this game. Lamy a tail. Oh, it's a vanity item. Okay. Oh, goodness me. Ah, get out of here. Yeah. My titanium armor. Bringing all the boys to the yard. And then destroying them. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, whoa! Huh! Ah, that scared the poop out of me. Stupid sand trap. You dare scare the poop out of me? I've had enough of being scared to... Oh, goodness me. Ah! I've had enough of being scared today, man. Oh, cool. Underground hallowed house that we actually haven't come across before. Ha! All right. Well, what do we have? The Dune Rider boots. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh. Who did that? The Lamia did it. God damn it. I thought my titanium armor would have uh, kind of ruined him there, but... Uh... No. Oh, come on. We've got way more than enough souls of light now. We literally need one light shard, guys. Come on. That's all we need. One light shard. Shouldn't be that difficult, right? Shouldn't be. <laughs> but it is. Because that's just how this game is. <laughs> all right. Battle potion. Let's get back down there. For God's sake, man. The dune splices. Oh. When in doubt, make a direct way down. And, well, that's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> Eventually, we're going to get there, right? Let's get this thing on. There we are. All right. Right back to it, guys. Right back to it. So, I'm going to make an educated guess and say that those guys there, the Dreamer Ghouls, may be the ones who drop uh, the light shards in addition to the Hallowed Mummies. Because I really don't remember taking on any Hallowed Mummies before. I really don't. Mandible Calavera. What the devil is that? 
Oh, I disappeared. What was that? I've never heard of that before. Mandible Calavera. Ah! Freaking another one! Stupid traps, man! <laughs> I'm getting so frustrated, man. I'm literally looking for one. For one. One, I tell you. One. I just need one light shard. It shouldn't be that bleeding difficult. Really? Really? I did not think that rolling cactus would clear that gap, but it did. Oh my god, this I am losing the will to live here, guys. I am losing the will to live. Oh, there it is, guys. <laughs> we finally done did the freaking thing. And I was right. It was from these guys. According to the wiki, it is a 1 in 15 drop as opposed to a 1 in 10 drop with the light mummy. So, yeah, anyways, the fact of the matter is we are donezo. Let's get the hell out of here. I am so done for today's episode, and we're going to grab ourselves up the magic missile, and we're going to get this thing underway. Okay, so there it is, the magic missile, there is the light shards, and finally, of course, our ever-expanding supply of souls of light. Here we are, so we've got all this going on, and now we need to pop over here. The mithril anvil should allow us to make both of the things we're looking for, right? Uh, oh, crap. I quick stacked the thing away. Anyway, there's the mechanical eye. Uh, let's go grab it back out again. Clearly, uh, we have more than one of these things. Or do we? Wait, what? Where did it quick stack to? I'm so confused. In here? Oh, there it is. <laughs> we got there in the finish, guys. Don't worry. I'm just freaking out because I'm thinking I'm missing things. Yeah. It's a magic weapon, guys. It is a magic weapon. And a really good one at that as well. Yeah, imagine having like a mage set and mage accessories, you know? This thing could be the difference between life and death in many, many situations. But anyways, guys, that is going to wrap it up for today's episode. Titanium upgrades, the pirate invasion, death, and the sky fracture have all been the name of today's episode. And yeah, I really do hope you guys have enjoyed it. I mean, despite the deaths and annoyances, I have very much enjoyed this one, in fact, my friends. So if you have enjoyed today's episode, you guys know what to do. If you haven't already, do be sure, of course, to drop a like. I'd very much appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on my future content. But for now, thanks for watching. Do have yourselves a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. <laughs>